Yeah, Jason, a lot of great stories here. Chase is just one of them. I talked to him right before the meet started, asked him how the prelims went. He said, Roddy, you know, we usually do a lactate test. And I cleared lactate, and I'm not going to get into the science of it because I don't even understand it, but I cleared lactate in under 10 minutes. First time in my career that it has ever happened that fast. It shows, basically it shows you how easy he went and felt in that 400 IM this morning. So he, he feels like he's going to have a good one. I think everybody, though, is going to be chasing Carson Foster. Again, you mentioned Foster was fastest. Again, the lead in prelims was two seconds, but Kalish, Fink, and Litherland were all within about six, seven tenths of one another. So that second slot yes. here is going to be a bat. That's, that's exactly right. And that's the story, right? You've got Chase and his amazing breaststroke, weak backstroke. And then we know what Bobby Fink will do in the freestyle if he is close. And then Jay, talk about Jay and his great freestyle. He almost ran down the gold medals back in 19 to win the world championship in freestyle. So these four guys right here, that's the story. Only two will be able to go to Tokyo in this event. Foster already on the team, Fink. These two guys already on the team, though. So a little bit more ease, a little monkey off your back knowing that you're already on the team. Foster to no surprise with the advantage at this point. He, he's, he's a, excuse me, Jason, he's a world-class 200 backstroke. World-class. His first 200, well, he won the 200 fly, for crying out loud. And then you look at the backstroke and his freestyle, but he doesn't have a, a great breaststroke. It has improved, yes, no doubt, but that's his weakness. Still a comfortable lead here by about a second and a half. Going to breaststroke, let's see who makes the challenge. Look out for Caleb. Yeah, I was just getting ready to circle that guy. You beat me to it. I see Chase. Where's Waldo? There he is, toward the top of your screen. The veteran doing his job on the breaststroke, looking really good. He's got to build a big lead on the guy next to him, though. He's gonna have a chance, and he knows it, because that guy right there, that's Bobby Fink. We mentioned the Olympic title two summers ago for him, four world medals, including bronze last year, as he was able to get in there behind Leon Marchand and Carson Foster to be on the podium at Worlds. Would love another opportunity to race for yet another world medal this summer. Boy, look at Chase go. He 34-1 on that 50. Foster, talk about the improvement I said. He 35 flat. He had the second fastest split of anybody in the field. But I think they're going to be pretty much dead even. In fact, Kalish is going to have the lead. Chase Kalish, breaststroke, bravado there, pushing into the front as they go to freestyle. 3.83 seconds. The reason why I mentioned that, that's how far behind Bobby Fink was behind Foster and Kalen. 3.83 seconds. Does he have the magic that he's had in the past? He didn't have that here in the 800. Already put himself on the team, but he didn't need to have it. He won going away. Foster now surging ahead of Kalish. Those two still with the lead on Fink, but here comes the freestyle ace down the stretch. Well, it went 3.8 to 2.6. And now it's about a second and a half. Here he comes. Foster in the lead. Kalish trying to hang on and make a sixth world team. Fink giving chase, but he's going to run out of time. Foster to the wall, and he will get the win. Kalish there in second. Those two, the top two, off presumably to Japan. Another relief swell. And <laughs> look at this guy. Dude, man, come on. Six world championships? 400 IM? That is just one heck of a swim by Chase Kalen. And third and fourth fastest times in the world this year. And that guy is 29, Jason. Still swimming the 400 IM for crying out loud. That is just unbelievable. I, I, you know, 
I love Carson. I told you I had a long talk with him, and he was really excited about this event in the 200 IM. But I, after talking to Chase, I knew he was going to have a special swim. I, I, I felt like he was going to be able to put himself on this team. He was just brimming with confidence. Not cockiness, but confidence. Here's the last turn right here. Uh-oh. Who's that sneaking up on you? Who is that? <laughs> Maybe another 25, and the magic might have worked. He was 28 flat, by the way, the last 50. I'm talking about Bobby, Bobby Fink. 28.5 for Jay Lillerland. Told you he had a great free. Ran out of room. And again, high quality here from this talented group of IMers. Carson Foster able to get that win with Chase Kalish second, and our winner downstairs with Kira. Carson, what an incredible swim. You held off Chase Kalish and Bobby Fink. How would you describe this race? Well, it hurt. <laughs> I think my last 50 would probably show that, but we got some sharks in the water that last 100, and you know it's kind of like the two fly. I'm just proud of myself for staying tough. You've shown that you can handle sharks in the water. After you won that two fly earlier in the week, how much confidence did that give you going into the rest of the meet? I don't know about confidence. I think it's more just the pressure's off. I get to swim in front of all these people, and at this meet, and so it's just, now I just get to enjoy it and feed off the energy. Well, speaking of feeding off that energy, you're gonna get to do that as a pro now. You've given back your scholarship at Texas. What is it like swimming as a pro? It's not too different. I mean, my, my team at Texas is family, and you know, I wanna be around them every day, and they've supported me through that whole process, so yeah, I just love them. Well, they love you too, congratulations. Appreciate it. Now the line of great IMers on the men's side for the United States. Chase Kalis was the latest. Carson Foster is the next.